Can you say your name, please, and spell I'm, it? I'm Vernon Tyson. I'm 83 years old. I'm a retired United Methodist minister. I've lived 19 years in Raleigh. And I was down here uh, last week and went in and saw them arrest people. And I was sitting over on a bench close to them, but it's far from near that wall, uh, what, uh, 20 feet maybe. This time I went in and took my seat on that same bench and I sat and looked and then uh, the man came, not a uniform man, but sort of like a detective looking man, came and said, you're gonna to have to move. And I said, why? He said, well, we're gonna move this bench. I said, can I sit on it once you move it? Yes. And so they moved it way over there. So I just stood and leaned into the wall. It had a, a six inch uh, indenture there. And they came back later and said, you need to move. And I said, uh, why? And they said, uh, well, you're trespassing. And I said, well, I'm a tax paying citizen and this is the people's house. And I don't see how I can trespass on a house that I helped to build. And I'm not blocking anybody. And I'm not demonstrating, I'm not singing, I'm not clapping my hand, I'm not making any noise. Only people I talk to are you. Uh, and then uh, a little, little later they came back and said, you're gonna to need to move. And I said, uh, I'm here to see, I wanna be a witness to what's happening. And that, that's the word I use, I wanna be a witness. And they said, well, if we come back again, we're gonna arrest you. I said, I don't want to be arrested, but that's your decision, not mine. If you need to arrest me, you feel free to do so. But I, I'm 83 years old. I've never been arrested in my life. But if you choose to arrest me, I'll not re resist you. I said. And so in a couple of minutes, they came and I stuck out my hands and they put those things on them. And we're kind, they were not, they were not rough with me particularly. So how do you feel about all that? Well, uh, I, 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 I'm glad to stand with people who take a stand. Uh, I don't consider myself a civil rights person much. I, I'm a Martin Luther King person. Right. And, but we're both uh, pastors and uh, Southern, Southern Christian pastors at that and trying to love God and love our fellow man and what that means. Uh, and th that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, so, so how do you feel about them arresting you for what you weren't even doing? Well, I think it's all right. They won't, if, I, if, uh, if I presented a problem to them, I didn't mean to be uppity with them. I just didn't make, want to melt like a yellow dog uh, with my tail between my legs uh, or wilted. Uh, I wasn't being arrogant, but I wasn't going to disappear. So what difference do you hope this movement will help make? Oh, oh, I've got great hopes about this. A, a movement is the word. That, that barber man knows how to build a movement. Right. Uh, I mean, three weeks ago we just had 17 right. old scruffy people. And then last time we had 29. And we outdistanced them. We've got 49 this week. And who knows how many we'll have. Moral Monday is the term. This is a moral issue. Because they, are, they haven't ruled us for, uh, for the last hundred years. And, and so they haven't had much practice. And now that they are ruling us, they rule us as if we are South Mississippi. <laughs> Nothing wrong with South Mississippi. Except that we're just not, we're not from Deep Ditsky. We're Jesse Helms, 
and we are Terry Sanford. And we got both of these people who are authentic North Carolinians. And, and you just can't push us around as if we are just uh, died in Dixie. So do me a favor, I want you to look right in this lens right here and speak to your fellow North Carolinians and encourage them to be a part of this movement. Well, I especially want to speak to the church leaders, clergy and, and lay leaders, to come and join this movement next Monday. It's Moral Monday, uh, 5.30, 5 o'clock, whatever. And join us, we need, your, we need your help. And if you wear your clerics, that'll make you even more visible among us. And uh, university people have been here, and uh, labor people have been here, and church members have been here, but I, I'd like to see uh, North Carolina Council of Churches and the uh, bishops of Methodist and Episcopal and other churches uh, come and stand with us. Uh, this is moral, and if the church is how can God be silent about something that is moral? And we need the church to make, uh, make a show and make a statement next Monday. Well done. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>